what's going on guys so in this tutorial we're going to be going over something that you can use instead of using region 3 you're going to be using zone plus um, it's a module what you're going to do is just type in zone plus in google and you should see introduction zone plus github pages you're going to click on that you're going to be taken to this introduction page really nice documentation and uh, you're going to go to installation you're going to click on this take the zone plus module and then you'll be taken to this page you're going to then click download then you can go into your studio go to the toolbox uh, you're probably going to be up here first you're going to click on inventory so you get your stuff and you're just going to find your zone plus module um, then you're going to take that module i like to put it in replicated storage and that's pretty much it so as you can see i have this um i have this part here okay it's just called part it's teal it's got 0.5 transparency just i like to use transparency for testing and then i turned can collide off so this is going to be our zone all right so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new script and we're going to first get our zone zone equals require game dot replicated storage dot zone so now we have our zone module and now we need to uh, create a this is uh, this variable for our part so we're just gonna call it container that's what they call it on the documentation uh, you can call it whatever you'd like to be honest I just stick to container because um, it makes sense there's no I don't see a point in changing it so now we have our part then you can say um, here's our new zone so local zone equals um, zone dot new container okay and now we have now we have our zone all right so we have our zone um, we could say print zone let's let's try that I don't even think I've tried that part is not a valid member of data module part is not a valid member of data module oh huh, whatever I don't wait hold on let's take away this print and see if that what is part is not a valid oh Duh. So you don't want to do game dot part workspace dot part. So that's my bad. I'm just dumb for that. So print zone. Let's test out zone. And then we get all of this crazy information that it's that's part of our zone, right? <laughs> but we're not going to pay attention to any of that. We're not going to pay attention to any of that because we don't need to. For, for simple zones, right? Simple zone stuff that we can do. So what we're gonna do is zone.player, I think it's actually player entered connect function, okay? And then we can say um, print player has um, player.name has entered zone okay so let's see what happens let's see if this works where's our zone at oh we need to anchor the part first so let's go ahead and do that anchor that mug because it's not can't collide off so it just fell through the map <clears throat> so now we can go into our zone and it says player has entered zone so now we can say zone dot player exited i think that's the correct one it doesn't really matter if we don't know because we have the documentation up um print player dot name has exited zone all right so now we can do that so now it should work to where we can say um we can say that the player has exited or entered and then the player's exited. And so from there we can do our logic. And there there you go. 
So now let's do like a little bit of logic here so that maybe while the player is inside of the zone, something's gonna happen. So for this example, we'll just do, uh, we'll just take away health from the player while they're in the zone and only while they're in the zone. And that's kind of key here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a module. I'm just gonna put it in server script service. Um, and then this module is gonna be, um, players in zone it's going to be a table then we're going to return players in zone okay um players in zone players in the zone and then now what we're going to do is go back here and we're going to say uh, we're going to first require we're going to first require our players in zone table so local players in zone equals require team dot service script service dot player did I put in service script service dot module script so obviously you want to name these accordingly I'm not naming these in this video but you want to really want to name these accordingly to keep it organized um, and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say um, table dot insert players in zone player so now um, what's gonna, what's happening here is every time every time uh, a player enters the zone we're inserting the player into our players in zone table that we're creating okay so now what you want to do for player exited though is first we need to find the player because how, how removing works is differently from inserting. It's not as easy as inserting. First, we need to find the player index. So you could call this a uh, player index. I'm just gonna say find player for now. And then you're gonna do table.find players in zone player. So now we found the player and now we can do table.remove players in zone and we're gonna do find player or player index usually I call it player index but I just find player for this I don't know just randomly called it that we're gonna stick to it um, and so yeah so now what's happening is we're inserting players in zone table now what we can do is we can print print players in zone just for testing or we can just do like a warn let's see if warn works just to give it a different color um, so warn players in zone okay <clears throat> and so now let's see what happens okay so as you can see we got added to our our players in zone table and then we got removed um, so that's that's what's happening there okay so now what we can do is we can add another script we're actually gonna call this one um, something else so we don't get confused so we don't have two things named script um, so this is gonna be our while loop so first we need to get our players in zone module I think that's what we're gonna have to do maybe not service script service dot module script so um, now what we're gonna do is actually hmm how are we gonna do this so we got the we got the players they're in the table so now we need to say um, players in zone yeah okay that's what we're gonna do so while true do task dot wait um, task dot wait one um, so now we're gonna do a for loop so for child or for we can call it player in pairs player in zone do Okay, we're going to say player dot character dot humanoid dot health minus equals five. So every five seconds while we're in the zone, 
Okay. Every five seconds while we're in the zone, we should be getting a decrease in health. Or every second, we should be getting a decrease of health. So let's see what happens. We might get an error. Oh, nope, it's working. All right, so now let's go out of the zone. Okay, and now we don't get a decrease in health. So let's go back to the zone. And now we're getting a decrease of health. Okay, so decrease of health. And then we're also going to print player.name has been damaged five hit points. So now um, you can see this actually happening from our print statements. So boom. Sheet bowl has been damaged five hit points. And now we're gonna exit. And now we're gonna go back. Sheet bowl has been damaged five hit points and it's happening every second. Now we're gonna go back and we're not being docked any health. So that's really the logic that you can use to do all kinds of stuff with zone. This is very simple to do, to implement because of this awesome module script that we've been given. And we can do all kinds of stuff with this, all kinds of crazy stuff with this. Um, so yeah, hope this video helps you guys.